I toss and turn, in the seats of the dark, bitches of life, be burned. That was Scarface, only one member of What's Ghetto up, Boys. Willie D wasn't there. A reminder there. He to not the had... Grammys and all the rest of y'all out there trying to hustle the Ghetto Boys brand by only including Scarface, who had a stellar solo career. How in the hell are y'all going to have a 50-year... Ghetto Boys is best known for my mind playing tricks on me, okay? And they're partly responsible for putting Southern hip hop on the map because they're from Houston, Texas, all right? And, you know, they do not get enough credit, I'm saying. And I don't know why they didn't reach Willie D, but here you go. I sit alone in my four-cornered room staring at candles. Well, that shit is on. <laughs> Let me drop some shit like this here. At night I can't sleep. I toss and turn candlesticks and the dark visions of bodies being burned. Willie D is not living under a rock. The Grammys could have clearly located him. He is prominent on social media. He's really heavy into politics and social changes. I love his platform. I just started following him because I was like, oh, Willie D is still here. You all... Willie D, Scarface, Bushwick Bill. Right now, Bushwick Bill could not have been there because he passed away due to pancreatic cancer. But Ghetto Boys as a whole does not get enough credit in hip hop. Them along with Two Live Crew and 69 Boys, okay? Uh, Uncle Luke helped pave the way, all right? And then let me go ahead and switch over from the South to the West Coast because Ake Ball and MJG, I love them. I did not know about them back in the day until my homegirl QT put me up on them. And I was like, yes. So all I did was pump Ghetto Boys and Ake Ball and MJG, okay? Along with, of course, the rest that you guys know, Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube. But for those who do not really know hip hop and if you don't play and have not played Ghetto Boys, Ake Balls and MJG, you need to listen to them. But Black History Month to you all.